Good morning Facebook world, hope you are well, hope you've had a great week so far. So if you're looking to catch any of the previous episodes of these lives that I've been doing, you can actually head over to YouTube and I'm uploading every episode every single day. So if you catched anyone, if you've missed anyone up till now, feel free to go and check out the channel. Now, today's episode, episode 22. Today is definitely one of my favorite topics to talk about. And this is a topic that I was reminded of last night. Now, this is a topic of extreme proportions in the area of anxiety. And that is the topic of catastrophizing. Catastrophizing. And this is the ultimate anxiety creator. Or, I guess, byproduct of anxiety. Or even symptom or sign of anxiety. Whatever we want to say. Now, let's have a think for a moment. Have you ever been around somebody that may be very good at identifying the worst possible scenario and worrying about that worst possible scenario to an extreme level? So people that are very good at catastrophizing are usually the ones that blow things out of proportion. Okay, so a simple conversation may have been had, morning Sarah, a simple conversation may have been had and they blow it out of proportion and they catastrophize what's right in front of them. But what we need to realize is that catastrophizing doesn't really serve anyone. And ultimately it would be like turning up to a little fire and there's a spark and then we walk up and we go, oh, there's bushfire. But it actually hasn't turned into a bushfire yet. It's just a spark or it's something that's been seen on the ground. So the first thing I want to suggest that you do is if you have anyone in your circle that's catastrophizing, maybe take some distance and put some distance in between you and them because their energy will certainly impact you. The other thing I want to suggest is that if you ever find yourself catastrophizing anything in your life, Write that down. What is it that you are very prone to blow out of proportion very quickly? Because I've noticed that when I captured the tendency or the habit that I had to catastrophize, I could start to see when I was blowing things out of proportion and I was actually creating thought bubbles that were quite dangerous. And when I realized that ultimately all in life, the only thing that we can control in life is what's in front of us right now. And I'll say it again, the only thing that you can control in your life is what's in front of you right now. When you fully embrace that topic, that concept, then you can certainly stand in your power and the anxiety drifts away. So one thing that I'm repeating to myself every single day uh, recently is the answer is coming. The answer is coming. The answer is coming. Or the, even the answer has arrived. And I shared this on a couple of lives ago, but when you adopt that attitude, you're completely fine to stay in that place, morning April. You're completely fine to stay in that space of not knowing what's gonna happen, but you have trust and faith that the right things are about to happen. So um, that whole concept of catastrophizing, be very careful of it, catch yourself doing it, and if you hear other people doing it, Make sure that you take a step back and don't expose yourself to it too much. The news, a current affair, and um, you know, media are phenomenally good at catastrophizing. So make sure that you just step back and go, huh, is this really the case or is it just a spark that I'm turning into a bushfire? Is it just something that I've heard and I may be blowing out of proportion, all right? Because as I said, the only thing you can control is what's in front of you right now. Alright, hope you got some value, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on tomorrow's episode of Annihilating Anxiety. Bye for now.